Hello, Team Gemini. <laughs> it's Caroline here from Empire 333. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And the energies can go either way. So if I say Gem, I could be talking to you, Cross Watcher. Cross Watchers also welcome. I will be doing a, um, a contest for a free reading. So if you're interested, make sure to follow directions at the end of this video. Do not email me. Entering is strictly on this platform. Okay, YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys. So I pre-shoveled. I pulled some spirit animal oracle, call it what you will, cards. And then um, I was just pre-shuffling with tarot and cards kept flying, Gemini. So I think you really need to hear this message. Um, so... The shark is lingering, okay? So this has to do with what I'm picking up from you is there's a conversation that needs to be had, okay? Um, there's a conversation that needs to be had and somebody is avoiding, okay? So what I'm getting is that someone doesn't want to make a decision. Someone, I feel, just is not is very unsure so it's like they want to keep the person holding on to the idea of possibly getting together in the future or something like that so i feel like someone is avoiding this you know this is the shark it's lingering it's like circling around someone and the person is trying to resist the shark resist basically a conversation resist communication right and it's because they know how special the other person is, okay, Gem? So this could be you or this could be the other person. But it's like they know that if they let this person go for good, it's like they're giving up a very special opportunity or someone who's genuine. Um, like someone they might not ever meet again, okay? So, or come across or love or, you know, however it resonates in your connection this person is freaked out whoever this is it's like they just are keeping the person you know hanging on that's what I feel they're avoiding whoever this is isn't avoiding conversation a communication okay um and these cards, I actually, the, these cards flew. I'm going to take them. I'm going to pull some more cards, though, so don't worry, guys. So this is the Queen of Swords. Um, doesn't matter she's fe if you're female, male, whoever this energy is, it's like they want to get down to, you know, they want to have the talk. They want to find out, is this person, are you in or are you out? Like, there's no in-between is what I'm getting, right? So it could be either party um, who feels like this and the other person This is very interesting. Here's the thing guys, this is the energy I'm picking up on. Somebody uh, suspects the other person, okay? So this person, whoever you're dealing with, guys, they could have been keeping something from you. I do see secrets. I do see some sort of deception. Now, it could be anything, okay? Lies can be anything. It could be like, you know, I don't talk to my ex anymore, and they do, okay? For example, I'm just saying it doesn't have to be major, like them cheating on you or whatever, but you will you will know, right, if your person is cheating on you. And if you don't know, you suspe suspect it, I always encourage people to do detective work and find out earlier than later, okay? So someone wants to get down to the bottom of things. They want to have this conversation. They're not in time for bullshit. And I feel like whoever this is, it's like they've been getting BS from this other person. Somebody is not speaking. Somebody is sneaking away from having this conversation. So I feel like whoever is in this Queen of Swords energy, you're not having that anymore. You know that this person 
like needs to tell you whatever it is, you feel like it's not over. Okay? You feel like it's not over. And for some of you, you don't want it to be over. Okay? And it could also be maybe you might not want to be with this person anymore. It doesn't mean you want to be with them just because you want to have the talk. It could mean you want to know. Are you still deceiving me? Or did you deceive me um, in July when you were telling me you were somewhere and you weren't there? Whatever, you know, whatever scenario it is, I'm getting a lot of scenarios. You might just want to come down to it and, and just find out, like, were you being honest with me when you told me this, you know? Or where were you? You know, that kind of a feeling is coming up, okay? So somebody wants to know, really, if they, if they were being deceived or not, if they were being lied to, okay, regardless, because these are all swords. This is nasty energy. I do not see it as like, I don't know, you could have deep feelings for this person, Gems, but I don't see it as, if this is your energy, then I don't see it as, you know, oh, I, I want you back because I love you. I don't see that energy yet. I don't know if some of you do, but I just feel like it's more of for some of you I have to say you got really disappointed in this person because um, this person this is what I want to say for some of you this person deceived you in a sense where they made made you feel okay like they were more special than they really are oyster and I don't want to say special like that sounds really mean the way I said it <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about if this is you it's like they made themselves more shiny more like you know unique but really they're just like they're really not like you kind of figure out hey you're just like the other the other people like I've been with all my life you know this person made you feel like they're special but they're they're really like other people I mean they're What's the word for it? Simple? Um, I'm not going to take that. Okay, guys. So let's see. Yeah, there's too many swords in this reading. And I know why you want to get back down to the bottom of things. You want to make sure you're just like, you're making the right decision of just letting this person go. I don't feel like you guys are together. Or, I mean, you, you both probably um are not communicating the way you want to what is this about Ooh, oh my god look at this major arcana whoa gems what is happening whoa 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 okay this is the feeling i'm getting gemini okay For some of you who are spiritually, like, really connected, you you guys kind of know that once you settle this conversation or whatever it is, it's like another person comes in. You Some of you know that intuitively, okay? And some of you are still hung up on this person, but you kind of feel like it's getting in the way of your life is what I want to say. The energies of this person are getting in the way of your life. And then we got the Ace of Cups. I think we got, actually, do we get a new person for you last time? I think so, Gems. Check, make sure to watch the last video I did. Um, it's like, once you settle this, there's going to be this, like, abrupt change. This is Major Arcana, the Tower. Okay, this is, like very fast like change it's like the game changer okay the game changer comes in because there is an opportunity okay that you haven't been taking and it's because of this person's energies so this could be anything this could be someone else maybe that's you've met and you have no idea like you you're not even you're not even in it because you've been so into the other person's energies that you didn't even recognize this person as an opportunity right as a solid solid opportunity 
If you hear my stomach growling, it's because I'm hungry, so sorry, guys. I wanted to do this before I um, have a late lunch. So this is about the game changer. So I feel like something is going to come down and it's going to change like real quick and because there's this opportunity you haven't been noticing it's there and like i said it could be someone you met that you don't you haven't seen in maybe a romantic um light because of this other person's energies that have been you know clouding kind of your perception i should say and or it could be like or it could be abundance, and this person also is a blocking your abundance, your finances, okay? Or it could be a business opportunity you haven't recognized. But this is changing soon. I feel like... I, this is just good. I love this energy. This is Mars. I don't know where Mars is in um, right now what signs it's in but this is like gonna be the game changer for you and I feel it's like you're gonna just realize what you need to know about this person that you've been dealing with Gemini you know who this person is um I don't know so it could be okay for some of you it depends. I don't see this as the person you're dealing with. It could be for some of you, very few of you. It could be the same person that, you know, you have a conversation with, you're going to have a fight with for sure, but you're going to get to the bottom of things and then, then this new chance comes in, okay? But... For most of you, I see this as a new love, okay? A new love that you're kind of being blessed with because, um, not kind of, you are being blessed with because of how you handled this other person, okay? Because you're like, no more messing around. Do not BS me. I want the truth, okay? I want the truth. And do it however you need to to get it out of this person or whatever. Because for some of you, I do feel that it's going to be really hard for you to get to that person. But look at this major arcanas. Like, you guys, this is the Ace of Wands. This is fresh new beginnings. This is passionate new beginnings. It's like blessings all over. Look at this. Gem, this is what's coming in for you. I mean... Look at this. Okay, this is all what's coming in for you. It's like, but you got to get through this, this, you got to get to this person. Okay. I don't know. Don't go out of your way. Like, don't do anything illegal, but like, really try to get, I feel like as soon as you know, you're just like, you just want to know. And as soon as I, I feel like this it's going to set you free. Okay, that's what I'm getting. The information is going to set you free. And that's when, like, the game changer comes. Um, this is, you know, yeah, I love it. Whatever this brings. I know people get so freaked out from the tower. The tower is such a positive card, guys. Come on. It's so positive. It's so explosive. And maybe I'm saying that because I'm a Scorpio sun. But um, this is Mars energy. I love it. It's like comes in, clears everything out. Yeah, things go down. But it's like, look at the look at all this that is bringing you gems. I don't know if this you cross whoever this is. This is awesome energy. I mean, like can't get better than this. It's like if you think in the past you've had bad luck or things haven't been working out for you or you're stuck in this you know whatever it's like the universe spirit 
source, God, creator, call it what you will, is like, okay, you know, after you get out of these energies that you're in from, from the past where you just keep worrying about whether this person is lying to you, keeping things from you, deceiving you, and driving yourself crazy over about it, go confront them. Go have that talk. Lay it all on the table, and this is what you get, okay? Bring down that tower, because that tower was not built on a, you know, solid foundation anyway. The tower you had with this person is not built on a solid foundation. It needs to come down. It needs to be undressed. It needs to explode, okay, in order for you to receive these blessings, okay? Okay? Blessings, manifestations, call it what you will. This is what you're going into, Gemini. I love this reading for you, actually. I'm happy for you, Gems. Woohoo! All right. I hope that's helped you in some way. If it has, make sure to give me a like. And to enter the contest, all you have to do is make a comment down below. Say whatever you want to say. Talk about your relationship, dog, cat, work, whatever you want, as long as you respect everyone on this platform. And after you do so, make sure to write my channel name, which is Empire333. And also, if you're not subscribed, you have to subscribe and turn on your notification so I can, um, you can be notified if you're the winner. I am announcing the winner on Thanksgiving Day. All right, you all. I wish you all the best gems, and I will see you mid-month for your mid-month readings, okay? Take care. Bye.